Hello, what's up everybody? So like, I was taking a nap, and a miracle happened. I finally got this freaking update, man. For our Moto G 2015 model. I've been looking forward to this since Motorola released it for Christmas. It's been freaking forever, man. Like, I was, um... I've been checking every day for this update, and I imagine some of us Moto G users are also checking, so. It downloaded, I read online, people have been saying it's like 2 gigabytes of a download. It's it's not that much, all you have, it's like um, 456 megabytes before I was um, checking, so yeah. Alrighty, let's, it's, it's downloaded, it's awesome, let me just go back and show you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, I just want to show you guys a quick screenshot. Give me just a second. Alright, I actually screenshot a couple of minutes ago because I was so excited. And, uh, right here, there's uh, S'mores with Marshmallow 6. Should be 6.0, but um, many new enhancements including Google Now on Tap, which is awesome. Battery saving features, talking about those right there and permissions sadly we don't have android pay because our moto g's don't have nfc but oh well what are we gonna do all right system updates all right let's install this bad boy seriously well then i will be right back let me just charge this guy up all right what's up everybody i'm Back and let's see. Twenty seven percent. That should get me that that should let me install. Restarting and let's see, I'll start the countdown from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. For those of you watching. I'm very excited, finally. So if this thing was never going to get updated, you know, because uh, Lenovo owns Motorola and stuff. But, okay, let's see. Let's wait for it to power off. Powered off. Welcome, Mr. Start. Yay. Probably I'm the only one that's extremely happy about this, but oh well. Be right back after it's done installing. All right, just you know, anytime now, Moto G. I know it's installing; it takes a while, but still, you get kind of anxious and impatient. People, we'll be back when it's done installing or when it starts to reboot later. Well, be right back. Almost there, come on, come on. You can do it, Andy. Come on, Andy, show me what you got. Do it! You know, f screw it, while we're waiting, um... So, I'm not the only one that likes keeping these tech boxes. I'm just, I'm just curious. I mean, come on, Moto 360 box. It's freaking awesome. And, like, Moto G box. Simple, not too descriptive. Phone just came like that, you know. Just, just cool little boxes like first gen Chromecast. Which, by the way, second gen came out. I heard it's a lot better than this. Don't get this. Let's check on Moto G now. And we are still waiting. Almost there. Okay, it's restarting. Let's see what we got. Let me adjust here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Apparently Motorola switched the boot animation from the world spinning thing to the stitched pattern. 
The thing is, I've seen the stitched pattern on some other YouTube videos, and like, it was just kind of confusing, even though it's just a bit animation, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Just waiting. We're waiting. And waiting. We're waiting. Oh, there it is, there it is. Awesome. Cool. Awesome dude animation right there. Found this guy right there. Alright. Mm, cool. It just spins around in a circle. And that's the guy. That was Apparently hand stitched by Peter Crawley. Thanks, Pete. I'll be right back as soon as it boots up. Oh boy, I have a feeling this is gonna take quite a while, you guys. I have to optimize a hundred and sixty-seven apps. Wow. I'll be right back. Again, for like the third time. All right, that took a while. Finally, 167 out of 167 optimized. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Waiting, preparing context storage demo. Oh, that's new. All right, let's see. Finishing boot. Hurry up. I'm excited. Okay, that's. That's cool. It specifically told me what SD card I have. Because we can make SD cards a part of storage now. Right off the bat, you can see the font is kind of different. And you can also see my battery is about to die. Luckily, thank God for portable chargers. Alright, let's plug that in. Lower down that brightness just a little bit. Alright. So, let's see. Let's go to about phone. It makes me so happy to see this. Look at that, guys. Look, look at that. Let's just tap on that. Oh, what's that? Okay, so this was kind of a buzzkill. Uh, my camera ran out of storage, so I had to copy some of the other stuff onto my... Uh, uh, laptop. So I'm back, cleared out some storage, and this message just popped up. Um, your Moto G has been successfully updated to that build number. This is the US model, by the way. If you're watching this in India or somewhere, that update should be rolling out. So let's see. The update for the Moto G was announced, um, it was announced the 24th. And I got it today, which is January 5th. So that took like two or three weeks. As expected for most um, most updates. But, you know, us tech nerds get kind of anxious. So, let's see. Well, that's that has to update, I guess. So, let's see. Let me plug this back into my charger so the phone doesn't die. By the way, if you guys need a good charger, Anchor products are freaking awesome. USB cables are awesome. They have this stuff called Power IQ, and meaning it actually charges your phone faster, and it actually does work. Oh, I was very looking forward to this um in a uh, marshmallow. That new toggle between silence and um um the new notification stuff so like you're like at full volume right there and then you go down into vibrate and you go down one more and that's complete silence i was getting used to the lollipop thing but you know oh well 
looks nicer actually there's like a subtle animation to it if you can tell Ryan, oh let's see i was also looking forward to this when you're launching an app let's see let's just focus in on here when you're launching an app you just that animation is so smooth Motor D is a pretty fast phone. I mean, right now it might be a little bit slow because, um, you know, it just booted up for the first time into the update. And, yeah. Let's just get that out of the way. See what's new. From what I see here, the only thing that's new is that new uh, do not disturb mode. Let's see, go into settings again because, you know, ran out of storage. Let's view that Easter egg again. There it is. It's... Hmm. Seems kind of laggy. I mean, I'll be, I'll, I'll report back. I guess in a couple of days, see how the update's going. To you know, just see if um, it smoothens out. Cause it just lagged a little bit on me, pretty bad. Oh, I got one, two, uh, two, still better than one, like we had on Lollipop. Alright, oh, this is something you want to do when you boot up into Marshmallow. Pull down notification toggle, you tap and hold the gear right there next to my percentage, let this thing focus. What just happened? Um, huh, weird. Um, it just randomly rebooted, and it's not. It's okay. Um, give me a few minutes. I'm gonna have to like Google this or something. I'm not sure what happened, like, okay, this is the one thing I hate about phones that don't have removable batteries. If we had a removable battery, we could have just, you know, um, taken out the battery and put it back in, but since this is stuck in there, I guess I'm just going to have to wait till it dies, or look up a quick search, but anyway, I guess I'll just leave it in the description to see if it, if it booted back up and everything, you know, and I'll... I leave a quick summary of how everything is and if it's smoothing out a bit. All right, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you gotten the update. You know, wherever you are, India, U.S., anywhere. And yeah. All right. See you guys next time. I'll try to report back with another video of Marshmallow. Leave. A, let me know in the comments if you guys want another one. I am out. Peace, guys.